Hi, and welcome to Export Kit. In this example, we're going to demonstrate how to optimize your components and each instance in your frames to ensure the perfect export. So be sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for new and upcoming videos. Let's jump right in. So right here we have an example of it looks like a sign up or a sign in form. So for this purpose, we're going to demonstrate optimizing your individual components and instances. So what we're going to do first is create an export of this frame. So let's just load the plugin. So we can see the frame itself. It looks a little bit incomplete. We're missing our buttons and our uh, form elements, the backgrounds for them. So we're going to fix this really quickly. So if we go back to our design, if we actually select the component, you can double click to select the main component and not the instance. What we're going to do is that within this main component, we're going to create a rectangle for the background, drag it to the corner, size it to the entire component, and then we're going to change the properties of the rectangle to match the component. What you should ensure is that you scale the content so that way it measures uh, with the size that you're using dependent on your actual frame. Now what we can do is remove these properties on the component text I input BG and we're going to put this below our field clear. So now we have an actual rendered background for our input elements which matches our original design. What we're going to do is repeat this for each object which is a component now we have a background for our checkbox. Let's create one for our button. And now we have a background for our button. So now that we've created these backgrounds using shapes really quickly, uh, what we can do is simply re-export this page. You can see we have all the elements that we expected within our design.